If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley. Welcome back to Technology Investment Investigations. I'm your host, and today we're about to embark on a comprehensive analysis of Gilat Satellite Networks Limited. Our focus, as usual, will be an extensive SWOT analysis. But before we get to that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. As far as I'm concerned, this channel has become a goldmine of basic information for amateur investors across the world. So what we're going to do today is we'll explore Gelat, we'll scrutinize their recent developments and assess the impact of the Russian-Ukraine conflict and the Israel-Hamas war that's currently taking place over on the other side of the world. And then we'll have a look at the satellite industry and beyond. Gilat Satellite Networks Limited was listed on the Nasdaq as Gilt. This is an Israeli-based company and it was founded in 1987. They're known for their expertise in broadband satellite communication and networking solutions and services. This spans three distinct business segments, fixed networks, mobility solutions and terrestrial infrastructure projects. Now, as with all tech companies of this particular size, this has a relatively stable share price across 52 weeks. So you're going to be talking around $50 on average. Market cap is in the billions, makes it very stable. Uh, revenue is positive, which is always fantastic. Very rarely happens at the moment to tech companies, given the state of the economy um, and the assets, uh, liabilities, equity. That's all exactly where I would expect it for a company of this size. The fact that it's positive is a good thing. So many of the uh, videos I've recorded uh, and the companies that I've looked at have negative equity, negative assets, they're in debt um, and they look like they have no future and you're completely reliant on people moving the share price up and down. This isn't one of those companies, this is another one of those companies where you can invest for a relatively long time and you'll probably have the same price. It's just whether you're going to get growth or not, that's the question. So let's set the stage with industry insights. The global satellite communications market has witnessed impressive growth, as you would expect. This has surged from five, from 54, sorry, 54 billion dollars in 2022 to 61 billion in 2023, and compound annual growth rate of around 11 to 12 percent. This growth underscores the indispensable role of satellite technology in our interconnected world. So going beyond the industry, we must acknowledge the complex geopolitical landscape that this company finds itself in, given that it's an Israeli company. Now, I'm not going to make any ethical arguments regarding this company for being Israeli, but the recent Israel-Hamas war and the ongoing Russian-Ukraine conflict have added a layer of complexity to all kinds of businesses, especially satellite communication businesses. So as an investor, while we're yet to feel the full economic effects on Israeli businesses, these events will undoubtedly be factors for us to consider going forward. So let's dig into the core of the episode, the SWOT analysis. And we'll commence with strengths, examining what gives Gilad Satellite Networks an edge. One of the paramount strengths is the technological leadership. Gillett has a history of innovation and a steadfast commitment to research and development, positioning them at the forefront of an industry that demands constant technological evolution. Another compelling strength is our diverse business segments. With fixed networks, mobility solutions and terrestrial infrastructure projects, they can nimbly adapt to the shifting market landscape, catering to diverse customer demands effectively. And given the age of the company, we can now see that Gillett boasts a global presence. This is a crucial asset for any company, especially a technical company, especially a satellite technical company. Their reach and their reputation across various regions offers them the opportunity to tap into diverse markets and customer bases. We don't only see Gillat offering services and satellites for established economies, we also see it for up and coming economies. We see this in South America, we see this across Africa. Their reach and their reputation is actually much better than we think. Um, and I think there's something like 3,000 satellites already up there, all with the Gillat name attached to it. Okay, so let's get down to the arguments against. 
This is a competitive environment for, and it's a formidable challenge for any company. The satellite industry is fiercely, fiercely competitive and staying ahead of the competition is no small feat for any company, least of all an established company with legacy technology like Gillett. Okay, so the economic and geopolitical risks form another layer of weakness for this company. The israel Hamas war is a stark example of how external factors can impact on any business operations and investments in any industry. Now, although this hasn't affected it yet, there is the potential for this to start affecting this company at some point in the future. This is why we're going to acknowledge it now and then deal with it later. Okay, so the root structure of the business, and there is a lot of reports in the press of a declining um, return on capital employed. Um, the trend of return on capital employed at Gillat Networks is showing some signs of weakness, let's be honest. Um, this week's um, ROC was 20% five years ago, but has since fallen to 3.8%. On top of that, the business is utilizing less capital within its operations than it used to, um, within that same time frame of about 44%. So this is a trend that indicates that the business may be experiencing some tough times, although it's probably more to do with general market conditions than the actual problem with the company itself. Um, although it's hard to tell until basically we're out of the doldrums globally. So typically businesses that would exhibit characteristics uh, like this, um, they aren't the only ones that tend to multiply over the long term because statistically speaking, they've already gone through the growth phase of their life cycle. So it might just be a stability, uh, not stability, a doldrums issue. It might just be kind of plateauing in what it can do, going you can only grow a business to a certain size and this might be what's actually taking place. However, as an investor there is another critical point and it's the lack of dividends since 2020 which raises concerns about shareholder returns which is what you would be if you were investing. Additionally, Gillette Telecom's global current liabilities have increased over the last five years to 55% of the total assets. Uh, this has distorted the ROCE to some degree. Without this increase, it's likely that the ROCE would be even lower than 3.8%. This means that a large portion of this business is being funded by the likes of the company suppliers or short-term creditors, which can bring some risk to its own. So for whatever style of investing you do, whether it's long-term and you take dividends or whether you just want to try and get uh, day trading, um, pennies from shares going up and down uh, the opportunities that the market offers currently are really important so if we look at what's what's there for this company we can see their high-speed connectivity demand so the growing demand for high-speed connectivity particularly in remote and developing regions as I've already said presents a significant growth opportunity Gillett's expertise in satellite communication positions them to meet this demand effectively this is down to its legacy technology that it owns also the development of new technologies that it has going forward. The rapid expansion of the satellite communication market offers Gilat the chance to expand their market share and explore new applications for their technology. We don't know what's going to happen in the future basically. We don't know what's going to replace phones, smartphones, PCs, um, whether the internet of things is going to expand to the point where satellites will become a pivotal part of that, we don't know. So there is the potential there for this company to grow into new markets in that infrastructure. So let's look at the um, doomsday part of all this, the threats of the market to the uh, company. Um, there are potential threats on the horizon that will need closer examination than we can provide in this video. Um, as we've said repeatedly, it is the ongoing crisis in the Middle East and the conflicts in that region and its effect on Israeli companies um, and the wider economy um, as well. So the economic implications represent substantial threats. The geopolitical uncertainties can have a profound effect on the satellite industry and Gilad's operations. As well as many companies, um, it, it's very sad what's going on. Um, I don't know how it's going to affect this company. Uh, the share price has been relatively stable over the past few weeks, but we don't know whether it's going to actually impact on business businesses from that region at all. I don't know. The simple truth is, for 
all companies in that region, there's only two outcomes. Either the war carries on and all the economies start to fade and have to move out of that area, which for a company like Gillette wouldn't be a problem. Um, or the war ends and everybody gets on and everybody prospers and everybody has big families and life's wonderful, which is pretty unrealistic, but would be lovely. For an Israeli company though, there's really two other distinct outcomes. People continue to invest in Israeli companies knowing that there's a significant um, safeguard of education and technical prowess behind the company, or out of political dogma they stop investing in Israeli companies um, out of principle and Gillette suffers massively as a result of that. That's a very real possibility that we could start seeing that over the next couple of years. And as we would expect with any technical company, um, there's competition. Uh, it's a highly competitive satellite industry. Um, the communication part of it, I mean, you, you've got different sections of the satellite industry. You've got the military, um, you've got the weather stuff, you've got the commun communications that's in the middle of all that, and then GPS and various other things. But communication is basically, possibly outside of the military, is the most profitable and is the biggest. Um, Gillette faces formidable competition. Their top competition includes Kometa, um, ST Engineering, Global Star, KVH, uh, and Comtech Telecommunications. Um, there's 69 active competitors in the field, and Gillette must navigate this challenging landscape. So, in conclusion, Gillette Satellite Networks is a great legacy company. It has a very well established technical um, prowess to be proud of. Um, however, it's unfortunate that the Gillette Satellite Networks is shrinking in terms of its capital base and is generating lower returns. Uh, if you look at it, the uh, long term shareholders have owned stock for over the last five years will have experienced a 69% deprecation in their investment. So it might appear that the market might not like these trends going forward. Um, so with the underlying trends that aren't great in these areas, at least from a technical point of view, um, it might be worth doing a more detailed analysis of the company than we would do on this channel. Um, so go grab um, the website, look through all the financials and decide for yourself whether you want to invest or not. Okay. Thank you for joining us on this in-depth analysis of Gillette Satellite Networks Limited and the captivating world of satellite technology, all within the context of our ever-evolving world global landscape. If you found this analysis and the latest news valuable, please support me by liking, sharing and subscribing for more investment investigations. Your support keeps the channel going. So until next time, happy investing. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed my content, please support this channel by visiting buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley or scan the QR code to leave a tip.